Today is my first day in Delhi, first full day in India. I'm at Kumayan's tomb, um, which is pretty amazing. Um, absolutely massive, 16th century. Um, I did have a little tour guide there for a while who was telling me all about it, but I can't remember much. He told me. Not a bad way to start day one in India. <laughs> Behind me is Kutub Minar. Amazing. on our way to the train station to go for about five hours to Jaipur. Meep. Arrived our accommodation in Jaipur. Have a look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. Was not expecting accommodation in Jaipur to be this nice. This is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm at the observatory in Jaipur and just behind me here is apparently one of the largest sundials in the world and it was built in the 1720s and the sundial itself is accurate to within two seconds um, which is pretty impressive so uh, this instrument is known as Jay Prakashan the function of this instrument is to know the inclination angle of the sun from the earth and also by the help of this instrument astrologers prepare the horoscope and they predict about the person's future life. So these 
magnificent constructions are tell the zodiac signs. So the stairs here point to each sign of the zodiac.
So um, right now I'm inside the end of four. Looks like. Sankar ji, andhar ja raha te ganpati ne lalka ho. O pier bada yo na ya dekha pe danda bhat. बजरंग बली गए Where do you go to school? In Kesavavan. Excellent. In Ocha. Yeah. In Temple. Me. Great. In my sighting, the river. In my Chatar Bhuj. Yeah. In my Ramaraja Temple. Yeah. In Lava Hill. Yeah. In Cholaka Pool. In yeah. Chatar in my hotel. Cool. Thank you. I'm told there are no crocodiles in this river. 
I am. Um, I really hope not. <laughs> I need to see a crocodile right now. I mean, it is actually really nice. Like the water is reasonably clear for a, a river in India. But I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be putting my face under. <laughs> no, this is absolutely beautiful. Look where I am. I can't believe this. This is so amazing.
So I've just been driving from Allahabad for about two hours and played holly along the way. And now behind me is River Ganges. We're going to get on a boat shortly and cruise down the river overnight. I have a suspicion it's going to be a very small boat. Hey, princess. Rang barse bige chunar wali rang barse aur kinne mari pichkari tori bhigi angiya o rang rasiya rang rasiya ho रंग बर से अरे रंग बर से बिगे चुनर वाली रंग बर से so we've just been sailing down the Ganges all afternoon since about 11.30, so for about seven hours. And we've made it to this spot, which is um, going to be our site to camp for the night. We're just watching the sun go down. No alcohol or meat on this leg of the trip, unfortunately, because this is a holy river. We've got plenty of lentils, dal, chapatis, potatoes, beans, and all that good stuff. Amazing. So it's about 7.30 in the morning on the Ganga and we are cruising along watching these dolphins which is amazing, you can just see a little splash every now and then but a little bit tricky to get a photo of them so I thought I'd just describe them to you They're kind of like a fish Oh, but quite intelligent That was a big jump and they're mammals, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. This is this documentary is going real great so far. This is so informative.
4 a.m. this morning, we left Varanasi and been traveling for 12 hours. And we've just arrived at Lumbini in Nepal. Lumbini is uh, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. Um, crossing the border was a pretty intense experience. Um, just absolute chaos on the Indian side. Managed to get across the border into Nepal and do it all again, all the paperwork, passport photo, forms, you name it. And Nepal is incredible, such a difference to India. I feel like it's just a little bit more peaceful, um, a little bit slower pace. Sad to leave India, but also really enjoying just this more laid back, more tranquil environment. through Kathmandu in Nepal and doing some shopping. Hello sir. Hello. Hello. Well, thank you. This is still pretty early morning. It's about 9.30. I've already spent a bunch of money and the shops aren't even really open yet. I'm at the Monkey Temple. Check this out. Literally the Monkey Temple. Very nearly 12 months since the earthquake in Nepal and I'm at Durba Square, Kathmandu and this is, uh, we see behind me some of the damage to these beautiful monuments. An absolutely spectacular place but it's severely damaged, which is such a shame. So we paid a fairly reasonable entry fee to come into this place, which we're told has been applied so that they can help fund the restoration work. So quite happy to pay. Mm -hmm. 